touch your brain and think, make a prediction. Which balloon do you think is going to go further across the roof? At Bemmel Elementary. We're going to make a rocket out of balloons. Are you ready? And we're going to make it fly to that wall, to this wall. The countdown has begun. This is Space Day at Bamel Elementary School. In my classroom, we we'll go get some construction paper. We got a soda bottle, and we're making it into a rocket ship. From designing rocket ships to training for spacewalks at this astronaut glove station, the entire school is learning about space. We color the. And the nine planets, we cut them out and we put them in order. There I am floating upside down and doing an experiment in zero gravity on this plane that NASA has. Tess Caswell is visiting from NASA. I work in mission control for the space station and I monitor the life support and thermal systems. So all the things that are required to keep the astronauts alive. And on this day, she's bringing space a little closer to Bamel Elementary. You guys see what that astronaut is reading? He's reading Harry Potter. Well, this is the sort of thing that inspired me to become a flight controller and to work at NASA. So I feel that by coming out and talking to the kids, I might inspire some of them and sort of pay it forward and inspire the next generation of engineers or scientists. So. We've been learning about the faces of the moon and how to fly a rocket. It's not really straight. It's like an angle that they have to fly because of gravity. Having them go home and think, you know, math is cool. There are people who do this, or science is cool. There are people who do this for a living and get to do all this really neat stuff and make them see that it's not just the, the worksheets or the textbooks or the, you know, the stuff that a lot of kids think science and math is. It may look like a spaceship has landed in Bamel's gymnasium, but it is really a planetarium. I'm gonna turn these lights down. It's gonna get dark in here. This is the North Star. This star never moves. This inflatable planetarium was purchased for Bamel and Jenkins Elementary through a grant from the Spring ISD Education Foundation. This grant is for a portable planetarium discovery dome. It is a great vehicle for teaching and learning about space in a unique and realistic way. Congratulations, ladies. Yay! I was so excited. I was just, it was my dream come true. I, I really wanted this for the for the kids, and I was just thrilled. So I appreciate the confidence of the foundation to give us this grant. The Spring ISD Education Foundation knows the value of funding engaging learning programs for children. Saturn would look like this. They need to reach for the stars, literally just reach for the stars, and they now they know that they have the opportunity to do that. And they can learn early on right now, so that way they can keep working for it. Make it go fast, ready? We are capable of, of reaching higher goals in, in our life. And as we have heard about astronauts that started, you know, having a dream um, when they were little about becoming astronauts. But you don't just have a dream and don't work towards it. You have to work very hard and you have to have perseverance and you have to set goals, high goals. I want them just to be truly excited about learning about space and about everything else. Just be really excited and skyrocket onto wherever they're going to go next. Who knows, we might have the next NASA astronaut in, in our own school in the future.